So let's go ahead and play with some green screen. Now within Blender, let's come up into compositing. Let's enable use nodes. From here, shift A, search, movie clip. And then we'll also add in a viewer node. Plug the image straight into there. Let's click open and find our file. Let's press V to zoom out so we can see everything and find the location of our footage that we want. <laughs> From here, what I'm going to do is add in a keying node. And with the key, we want the middle green, so too bright. Maybe here, maybe over here. Oh, straight off the bat, that's looking pretty good. Let's move them over and we'll also add in an alpha convert. Dump that one into there, image goes into there, image and image, factor will come into the mat. And now we've kind of got that black and white situation where we can see what are we actually clipping. Now, first up, what I'm gonna do is lower the white, bring up the black, let's dial down the, the road, and I'm just gonna keep playing with the clip and black until we get a nice solid color. I'm fairly happy with that result. If we put this straight into the image, we can see that is looking nice as I'm licking my lips. However, there's a few bits and pieces here that we wanna get rid of. Let's press the plus sign, VFX and masking. Let's go ahead and open our footage. Let's go ahead and click new mask, holding control, left click, and we're just gonna mask out the area that we don't want. I can now toggle cyclink, and that'll close that off. We can also come into the mask tab, create a new layer. Now, if you need to move the mask, you can select your points, press G and move it as anything else. We can also select multiple points, rotate, blah, 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 scale, blah, 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 blah. If as well we want to feather the selection, we can press Alt S and increase the size. And if you want to have a look what that looks like, we can go into the mark display, overlay, and we can see that the areas that we're masking out. From here, back into composition, we can go Shift A, search, add in our mask that we've just created. From the drop down, F mask, we'll dump that into the garbage mat and you can see that we've cleared those top areas. Now, for some reason, if we're missing our image, but we can see the top area, we can go Shift A, search, invert, and we'll put that in there. And now you can see those areas are done. However, go away. Now we can go ahead and throw a scene in the background and with it rendered, we can throw the image down into the bottom, mix into the viewer, uh, whoopsie doodle, let's turn that around, plug that into the composition, F12, and we can see that we're super tired. 